Hi, this is Dave uh, with Tesla Tech. Um, I've had this running here for a while now. I'm at uh, 2.5 um, hertz and 0 0.1 centimeters on the plunger. Um, and I've had this running for 20, a little over 21 minutes. And I'm going to reset it here in a minute. I just wanted you to see what I'm seeing right now um, is the last of the red balls that are moving off the screen. They're already off the screen on the top. Um, once uh, once they go off screen, I, I can't tell if it's uh, still increasing in power or not. You just have to leave it run and see if they slowly start coming back on screen if, if they do then then you know your tuning wasn't right um, this this setting I think is because um, what they use to set this up with is this frequency because you have all these green balls um, as nodes so that's why I think that's what they used um, yeah see they're they're all going off screen now so, but um, I'm at 0 0.1 centimeters. I'm going to stop it and reset the timer. You can see that we're at t about 22 minutes when they all went off the screen. And what, what that means is uh, <coughs> let's see uh, there's going to be hardly uh, no time that there, there's anything on the screen. So it's coming down now. Oop, you got some on the screen. On two clicks and they're off. <laughs> so it, it'll keep going until I slow this down and it'll be um, one click and there'll be nothing on the screen. It'll just go off the screen the other direction. Uh, so you know it's still increasing. Um, like I said, I've had it running for 22 minutes now, and it's still increasing. But I'm going to do something a little different here. Um, let's reset this, reset this. Uh, and let's take this down. Oops, wrong way. Down to the lowest setting we can. And... We're going to leave it running. I'm, pr I'm probably going to pause the video once in a while because this will be running for quite a while. But you'll watch on the plunger, there's practically no movement at all. I mean, it's it barely going. And um, every cycle is going to add to this standing wave. Once, once, once a wave comes down here and hits the C-clamp and reflects back, once it reflects back, it's creating a standing wave. And uh, every cycle that you put in it is going to be stored on that standing wave. There's no extra gain at this frequency. Um, to have extra gain per cycle of of the drive, you got to be under one uh, one wavelength. And we've got three wavelengths here on the string right now. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and start this, and you'll see that it's just going to continue to increase. And it's like Stan Meyer said, um, the voltage will increase to infinity, um, limited only by the equipment. This increase is a linear increase. It increases the voltage, the power, watts, whatever you want to call it, um, linearly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this now. Okay, you see it's just barely moving there. <laughs> but every every cycle that it cranks out in there is going to be stored on that standing wave. Um, so I've been meaning to do this video for some time. I've done it before at a higher setting and it it's really hard to see what's going on in hardly no time because everything's off the screen. So, um, you, know, you 
see it's starting to look more like a standing wave now with just this little tiny and the reason I'm doing this at um, 0 0.01 centimeters is because of something Tesla says in at least one of his patents I think it might be in a few of them um, he's talking about um, feeble effects you know little minute tiny tiny you can't get any tinier than this point zero um, one centimeters that's you see that's barely moving but it's just gonna keep amplifying it's just gonna keep adding it to the standing wave uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and well, how long I can pause that I just had this on I was watching something to make see if it was still increasing it was um, sometimes I'll just put it here and make sure that it's eventually going to go over now that we got such a small amount on the drive um, yeah it's starting to go over it now um, the timer slows down with it so yeah it's going over so you know just to make sure it's increasing you keep moving it I move it up and when it gets higher you can use these lines down here um, to see that it's still increasing it's kind of hard to tell when you've got such a small amount such a feeble amount should I say like like in, in the patent um, but I'm just going to pause this now. I'll leave it running and uh, I'll unpause it in a little while. See where it's at. Okay. Um, they're already going off the screen on the top. Um, and in the bottom, they're just uh, starting, getting close to going off the screen. So you can see it's still increasing. Um, it's kind of cool. You can see different stuff happening here this will change as it as it grows in amplitude um, and the other one you've seen I had it going until there was almost nothing left on the screen in between um, cycles whatever whatever it's putting out here uh, the, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it again and uh, We'll see what's going on a little bit. Okay, um, we got 10 minutes. Um, I just wanted to show you. I adjusted this here so you can see if these keep going up. Eventually, they're above that, then we know it's still increasing. If if it if it reaches a point where it stops increasing and it'll start coming back down, that means the wave is going to destroy itself. Um, it's not a perfect standing wave. Um, tuning is really critical in this. So, if uh, if at some point it did start coming back down, it would be tuning. Um, but we're pretty uh, we're we're tuned pretty well on because there's well there's a tiny tiny little bit of wobble right there on this first node. Um, but that's hard to tell if it's the wave going by um, that could have been um, kind of hard to show you that right now I've showed it in other videos you can actually calculate the um, impedance on this wave on a string it's trippy that <laughs> you can actually do that but what you do is you'd uh, measure the wobble on this first node here uh, against the total amplitude and you can calculate the impedance um, this is tuned pretty well here and I see we're starting to go over the line ahead there so it is still increasing um, kind of hard to see that when you got it on fast but as long as it's still in keeps increasing and we'll get to a point where there'll be no no none of the red balls on the screen and you'll click it and they'll go past go you know flip 
and go off the screen in the other direction. It'll, it'll reach a point where they're never on the screen. So the only way you could tell if it was going to reach a maximum and then start coming down was just wait and see if they ever start coming back on the screen. Um, like I said, if that did happen, it would be tuning. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this again. Alright, I'm back here. Um, I haven't moved this yet, so you can see they're, they're going over it now. Um, so I'll move it up again a little bit. Uh, okay, right there. And if they eventually start going over it, then we know it's still increasing. Uh, Anyways, um, I thought I already paused, thought I paused it. Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna pause it again. Let it keep going. Just I'm pausing this for a minute. It was just flashing a straight line across here, <laughs> and what what's showing here this wave? It'll it'll grow um, bigger and then and then uh, it'll start back slower. It's still increasing. Um, See, I haven't moved that line yet, and now I'm going to go longer. Uh, it's not going to be too much longer, and they're all going to go off screen on the top, and then you wait for them to all go off screen on the bottom. But you get different different effects across here when it's in the fast mode. You, it was just shooting a straight line there for a while. Um, now it's showing a wave again, uh, and that'll get bigger and bigger, and then until it's going off screen and then we'll start with a straight line again but it's still increasing so and I think what the when I first started the video I think it was 20 20 or 21 minutes total so we're not even to that yet I know it's gonna keep going over that so I'm gonna pause the video again alright um, I'm on pausing this again you can see it's getting uh, close to where it's just going to flash a straight line, and then and then it'll start growing a, a wave again, little by little, and you can kind of track that by moving this. Once it once once that wave, see it's just flashing a straight line now, but it'll start growing again, and you can kind of set this and see if it's still increasing. I think it does that for each one of these balls. It has a point where it's showing it just flashing straight. And then if it's increasing, then, it'll, the, then the wave will start growing again. And you can kind of watch it by setting this. And you'll see eventually it'll, it'll go over that and then move it up again. And, you know, you can tell it's still increasing. We're at 27 minutes now. But, um, so... I'm going to leave this going for a while yet, but you can see it's just going to keep increasing. And uh, that's what Stan Myers meant when he said with his, his uh, voltage intensifier circuit, he said the voltage would increase to infinity, limited only by the equipment. That's what you're seeing right here. With this uh, little tiny, tiny movement over here on the plunger, um, it's it's just storing every time every cycle is storing and the voltage is increasing and increasing and it'll keep doing that to infinity so see it's starting to grow now and so you just kind of set this and put it somewhere like that I guess if you want and it'll eventually go over that until it's going off the screen then it'll start with a straight line again if there's any balls left to um, hit a cycle where they're all in a straight line but uh, it's, it's still increasing you can see that and if you slow it down you can you can tell what's really going on see they're all off screen you're just catching the timing I guess of 
of them in a certain place. Can't hardly see that wave in the middle. Eh, a little bit there. That'll keep increasing. So I'm gonna let it go a little longer. Put it on pause again. I don't want to make the video too long. Okay, um, we're um, almost at 44 minutes. Um, it looks like it's still increasing. It, it's really hard to tell. They're still all going off screen. If at some point they don't go off, all go off screen, um, then then it's destroying itself. So the amplitude would be coming back down in that that would just mean uh, the tuning is off a little bit um, there is there was a little bit of wobble here so but it's you know you couldn't calculate it unless you know what the amplitude is and the amp amplitude is so far off screen so it's hard to tell uh, but I, I think I've made my point um, it's just going to keep increasing uh, if, if for some reason it didn't it would be tuning I'd, I did put in a request with Colorado University to add um, another um, digit here on the t on the frequency, um, and they said they accepted it and put it through. But I I don't know what that means. It's been quite a while. Um, I guess it means they accepted my request and put it through to the programmers, but maybe the programmers decided not to do it. I don't know. Nothing's changed here. Um, I'd like to have another, what are we at, tens, hundreds, of thousands of a hertz um, tuning. Um, because then I could, I could really do some stuff, um, kind of limited with that and you know I don't know whatever happened with that request they said it went through because my next request was going to ask them to give me some more fine fine tuning on this uh, dampening that's zero um, Tesla said um, it would be less than one percent um, Texan Visiv said um, that it they were expecting uh, or they were getting 95 to 97 percent or no I'm sorry five to th three to five percent loss um, this thing goes in increments of ten so uh, you know zero is closer than <laughs> ten um, especially Tesla said less than one percent so I don't know um, they didn't put the other request through, so I, don't, I haven't made one for the dampening yet. Um, I wish they'd do. I wish they'd do both. Um, but anyways, uh, we're gonna end this here. Um, this is Dave with Tesla Tech. Talk to y'all later.